So say you just picked up GTA Online from Steam sale, got it as a gift, or are returning to the game because of some super cool update, only to find that GTA Online public lobbies are full of quote unquote modders. Great, you can't do import, export, CEO, club, or whatever kind of missions with your friends or by yourself anymore because they require you to be in a public lobby, and you don't want to deal with an idiot going on a power trip who thinks that downloading a mod menu makes them super legit hackers. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I do to get my very own public lobby all to myself and whoever I want to invite to it. Keep in mind, I am playing the PC version on Windows 10. So if I want to get into my own lobby for any reason, after loading into Grand Theft Auto Online, I hit Windows key and R together. Now it shouldn't matter if you're Alt-Tabbed or R in a menu, it will matter if you disable the Windows key for gaming. After the run window comes up, type in R-E-S-M-O-N for resource monitor, find GTA 5.exe in the list, right click and suspend it for 3 seconds, and then re-enable it by right clicking GTA 5.exe and hitting resume. After you re-enable, a couple of seconds later you should see all the players leave the lobby. But what's really happening is that you are leaving the lobby. I want to let you know ahead of time that this rarely works the first time, but all you have to do is do it again except waiting a bit longer before you resume the process. Also don't leave it suspended for too long or else you'll be kicked into single player. Once you're in a public lobby by yourself, you can go ahead and invite any of your friends. Now the reason why this is is because Grand Theft Auto Online lobbies rely on peer-to-peer -peer connections. And if you have a crap connection to the host, they don't want you to ruin all the other player's online experience by not syncing up when you're trying to kill each other or whatever, so they find you another host that you have a better connection to. If your connection is just crap in general, well, you can go play by yourself. That is essentially what we're doing here, we are giving ourselves massive lag. Two other methods that I've used that worked reliably are disabling the network adapter by pressing the Windows key and typing view space net, and disabling the network adapter I'm using for a few seconds, and the last method is simply pulling the ethernet cable out for a few seconds. Now there is a chance for other people to connect to your lobby, but I've been able to play for as long as 3 hours without anyone else actually joining. If you have friends with you, it might be easier just to actually kick that person out of your lobby. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. You can find all the instructions written out in the description below. My name is Funky, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.